Today we are taking a closer look at Galley Opus 13 study number two. In order to embrace the full charm that oozes from this beautiful piece from the start all the way through to the finish, there need to be elements of ebb and flow With the restrictions imposed by a metronome. I do also wonder at times if these machines potentially do more damage than good. So, this study should embrace a degree of rhythmical freedom, but now we arrive at the complicated part. If not always returning, to exactly the same place. Gently dancing on the surface will help greatly here. The action of the tongue in terms of movement and travel should be mirrored with the fingers. In other words, don't let your fingers travel upwards too far away from the keys. The interval of a semitone or half step is one of the most versatile and, dare I say it, delicious in music. From bar 65 through to the end, be careful about pitch, as in don't be flat. This is particularly important in the final bars where there's diminuendo and the pitch is likely to drop. 